This is about getting Moopin 64 Plus working on if you have Ubuntu. Um, if you're a gamer and you want to play some retro games, uh, Nintendo 64 emulators are available. Um, there's Project 64 on the Windows side, and if you use Wine, you're supposed to be able to get it to work on your system. I wasn't able to get that to happen, but Moopin 64 seems to work pretty good. Although, when I'm recording my desktop, it'll be a little staticky, so you'll have to forgive that. So, obviously, first, if you don't know anything about Linux, um, going to the help pages, you'll just see a bunch of shit like sudo apt-get install all these package things and then command lines and terminal and it it looks like a bunch of fucking latin so i'm showing you how to do it the easy way um you would go to your software center in ubuntu and this should say install i've already installed it but you're going to be looking for moopin 64 plus and then you get the transitional dummy package install easy enough then you would have to go out and get a rom i went to cool rom typed in Super Mario 64, found the one I was looking for, downloaded it, so that was easy enough. But getting it to work can be a little intimidating because you're talking about working in the terminal, which is a little scary from people who are used to having, you know, simple user interfaces on Windows. Um, to get Moopin working, once you've installed it and you've got your game, you have to you just open up terminal which is control alt t and then moopin 64 plus all right that's telling you what program you want to open and then here you're setting your parameters which essentially is like special commands um, is what they ask for next i just want to make it full screen so i just type full screen uh, the dash dash is just uh, telling the terminal what i'm going to do uh, with the parameters and then you're looking for your ROM now to load the ROM you have to load the exact location of where the ROM is located or I found out you can just drag it in and it fills it in so and then now that you've got that all done you hit enter and this may get skippy here for a second because I don't have a very strong computer so it's gonna have a hard time recording the desktop and recording uh, Mario 64 And there it is. And it's full screen on my screen right now. Um, but because of the way I have it recording, it may have just made your screen black and then put the image up in the top left. I'll have to see what that looks like in the playback. But on my screen, as it is right now, it's full screen. And I have an Xbox, original Xbox controller that um, is plugged in via, they make a USB jumper that you can on eBay. And it... <laughs> I didn't even have to set the controls. It was all set up perfect for me, so that part was pretty cool. Um, so that's all you got to do. Uh, it was a bit frustrating for me to get it get it going because I'm not very clear on some of the terminal stuff, but hopefully that helps.